Yeah. Okay, so before we go into college, man, let's go back to high school One for one more question, man. So who was that player in high school that was just on your ass? Like, every time you came out, he was he somehow made the tackle on you. Who was that guy that you just could not get away from that game? Um, We played uh, Wakulla High School, and uh, it was a linebacker, Nigel Bradham. He ended up going to Florida State, played ball in the league for about, I think he played like eight, between eight and 10 years. Yeah, with um, the, uh, with the uh, Bills and I think the Bengals, I think. And the Eagles, yeah, 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 I yeah, believe. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah he, uh, <laughs> he was that one guy when we played against him, it was one, I ain't gonna lie, we were all a little nervous because I mean, he was like six two two. 30 or something like that. Like, he was huge. Like, way bigger than any other guys. Like, he stood out from the bunch. And I was a sophomore, I believe, at the time. He was a senior. And, I mean, he was on... We ended up winning the game, but he was on us like crazy. Like, that... <laughs> that was one of them games. Like, I didn't have, I didn't have a good game. Because um, he, was, he was fast. Middle linebacker, he was fast. He was just coming downhill, knocking knocking everybody out, just getting to the ball like crazy. Like, we couldn't do nothing with him. And we ended up, like I said, we ended up squeaking past him. And I was like, man, I don't never want to see that cat again. <laughs> <laughs> and, I mean, crazy enough, I ended up, you know, seeing him in college or whatever. We ended up being teammates. And but um, now you gotta see him every day. Now I gotta see him every <laughs> single day. But he, be going against him every single day made me a lot better. You know what I'm saying? To, cause I had never seen a. I, we had never gone up against an opponent like him. Like we would usually have a good safety, a good, you know, a pretty good linebacker here and there, D lineman or whatever. But not that was big, fast, and strong like him. He was he was on a whole another level. Gotcha, gotcha, man. We, we got we to gotta get Nigel in for an interview, too, man. <laughs> I, always, I asked him questions so y'all can give me ideas on who I should yeah, interview yeah, yeah. next, and I asked him about you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what advice would you give to a player trying to get recruited out of high school right now today? Um... Yeah, I would just say uh, do your do your research more than anything. Um, see what recruits are coming in with you. See what the depth charts are like at your position. Because um, all that stuff is important. This NIL stuff, I'm, I'll am i be the first to say I'm all for the players getting paid. But don't let that be the reason why you go, you choose this school and not, not the right one for you. Um, because then you get in kids go to a school for one year and then they transfer out and it's like why are these kids making these moves and partly a big part of it now is the money they um, I think they go to the table every year now and try to you know negotiate how much money they make for the year and things like that if you don't meet their number then they boom I'm out. And that's the part of it I don't, the part of the game I don't really um, agree with because the reality of it is when you start transferring and going to all these different schools, that's just hurting your chances of making it to the league um, because those scouts pay attention to that. Those GMs pay attention to that. They see this stuff like, oh, or, you know, you're giving off the impression that the competition is too much for you. You can't take the competition. You can't beat the man out in front of you. Then now you transfer and then you got to dip because you're trying to, you know, you're trying to find the easier route. So that's why I say do your research. I did. I, I mean, we wasn't, the NIL thing wasn't a thing, but I knew all the guys that was coming in with me. I knew uh, the, all the guys that were there. 
um, I knew like I had in my head like, all right, well, I might have to sit for this long and then my opportunity is going to come. So I'm going to just sit. I'm going to grind. I'm going to sit and wait my time. And um, it worked out, you know, it worked out for me, but it actually made me a lot better player, uh, a lot better person because I had to wait it out and I had to grind and I had to fight my way to the top. And, you know, um, Florida State at the time for us, we they weren't a good program when I got in there. We were. They had we had been struggling for some years, just barely seven games, seven win seasons, six win seasons. Um, even my freshman year, we had only won six games, and so we barely made it to a you know to a um, bowl game and stuff. But I knew the guys that were in there with me. I knew those freshmen that were in there with me. I knew even the young guys that were on the team already, I knew we had something where if we just be patient, we all stick together, we can turn this thing around and it eventually ended up happening. But um, yeah, that would be my advice because they talk about, we all see the, oh, this kid, this guy's transferring and he ends up going from this big school to the next big school. But they don't talk about the other thousand, one thousand kids that's in the transfer portal that's still sitting at home waiting because what one, maybe the competition was too much for them or they got there and realized the coach wasn't didn't really care for them. It was more so, oh, we got this guy because he helps our class ranking or. um. You know, a lot of times, like, kids get there and they get promised all this stuff. And then they see once they get there, it ain't what it was all promised out to be. And that's another red flag. To me, that's another red flag is if coaches, like, promising you, boom, 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 boom. You're going to get this. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. Uh, I'm not with that. It's like I'm I'm one of them, like, you start promising me stuff and I'm not even there with you. I'm I'm running away. I don't believe it. So... Yeah. Yes, okay. Because that's that's usually what a lot of people look for. A lot of people look for the coach said this, the coach mm-hmm. said that. Mm-hmm. But to you, that's a red flag. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah.